Two men are in the hospital tonight after they were shot on the northwest side of Chicago. This happens just hours later after a unity rally organized by those hoping to curb violence and come together as a city. CBS 2 Chardet Gray joins us live from the Streetside studio with details of tonight's shooting. Chardet? Well, Jim, tonight a 19 year old man was shot in the stomach and a 21 year old man was shot in the back who's in critical condition. Chicago police says nobody has been arrested and the investigation is still ongoing. But earlier today, families who lost loved ones due to gun violence says it's time for a change. Bullets rang out as two men were sitting in a car in the Portage Park neighborhood near Laramie and Irving Park. A 19 year old man is in good condition after being shot in the stomach and a 21 year old man is in critical condition after being shot in the back. This happened in the 16th district, which is area five for police area boundaries. The city of Chicago data portal shows area five had 235 non fatal shootings and 83 homicides last year. 79 of those homicides were shootings. In 2020, Area 5 had 261 non-fatal shootings and 67 homicides, of which 60 were gun-related. How many lives has to be taken? Earlier today, families who lost loved ones due to gun violence rallied together in Logan Square. This is what it's about. Patricia Dietz's 13-year-old son was killed last year. He was riding a bicycle when someone driving past fired several shots. Her son was shot in the head and neck. This shouldn't happen. No more gunshots. Little kids. Two 14 year olds were shot not too long ago. The same day. It's got to stop. Seven years ago, Milagos Burgos lost her 18 year old daughter, Alexandria. Her daughter was hit by a stray bullet while sitting in an apartment on the third floor. My daughter should have been here right now with me, standing for preventing the lives that are being lost from gun violence. Elizabeth Ramirez says her son, Harry Rodriguez, was celebrating his 23rd birthday in the Belmont Cragen neighborhood and was shot in the chest at his own party. It's been 10 years, 10 years that we are still fighting for justice for my son and not only for justice for my son, we're fighting also for peace. The family say they chose this day, a day before Dr. King's holiday, to show everyone from all backgrounds that they are taking a stand against violence. Charday Gray, CBS 2 News.